If you've worked with a team in Airtable, you've probably created a view that's set up exactly how you want it. It's got the right groupings, the right filter, exactly the information you need. And then Jeff created his own perfect view. So did Susie and every member of the sales team. Your base kept growing and teammates you haven't even met are adding new views every day. If your own view sidebar is getting a little long, watch on to learn some tips on how to manage views in Airtable. Whew, that feels much more organized. View permissions allow you to restrict who can edit a view's configuration. By default, views are collaborative, meaning any creator or editor can go in and edit the view's configurations, changing what's in the view for everyone. For workflow crucial views that your whole team relies on that shouldn't change, you can set the view's permission to locked. When a view is locked, editors will not be able to edit its configuration and creators will be prompted to think twice about it and encouraged to create a personal view instead. Lock important views like your weekly content review or the view that your leadership reviews every Friday. Definitely lock that one. Now for views that aren't for the whole team but you've created for yourself, you can set them as personal views. Only you can edit a personal views configuration and by default, everyone else's personal views are hidden from your sidebar. So you don't need to see Susie's views or Leon's. Now make sure every view in your base is configured properly. Locked for team-wide crucial views, personal for views that only one team member needs, and collaborative for the rest. So everyone can easily find what they need, you can further organize your views into sections. Just like folders on your computer, you can group views that are relevant to different team members into sections. Create a sales section for the salespeople, a marketing section for all views related to campaign prioritization. Really up to you. Keep tidy by creating as many sections as your workflow requires. A quick tip before we go, adding sections does add a click to get to your favorite view. To save yourself the click, you can set any view as a favorite, which will bring it to the top of your view sidebar. Saved you a click, you're welcome. With views with the right permission, neatly organized into relevant section, and favorite views at the top, everyone can find the information they need.